Kid Australia here, presenting the Mulaney Bird World. This is the Australian native area. All these really great. doesn't look like much when you first fall into the parking lot. As soon as you get closer, you realize you're entering a fantastic place if you love birds, gardens, and spectacular views. Before entering the aviaries, you watch a safety video so you know how to stay safe, and most importantly, you keep the birds safe. The four walkthrough areas are home to over 700 native and exotic birds from all around the world. Be able to get up close and interact with the birds. And there these birds were pets and families could no longer keep them. But now they have this amazing place to call home. There are unique birds, they are fast birds, they are slow birds, they are energetic birds, they are birds that are sleepy, birds that want to know you and ones that just want to feel out. You gotta be really careful where you are because sometimes they can be on the ground. This is the Australian native area. All the Australian birds. The first birds you come across are the Australian natives. There are so many types of cockatoos, and my mom was really happy to see one of her favourites the red tailed black cockatoo. There are also the vibrantly coloured eclectus. The male is green while the female is red and purple. The cockatoos are really friendly and quite inquisitive. They actually live for over 60 years old, so if you do have one as a pet, they'll live for a long time. The tour guides are there to help you learn about the birds and see some of the tricks they can do. They also help the birds fly to cuddle up to you if they want to get to know you. I watched as birds learn to other people and I knew what happened to me soon enough. And of course, one did finally find me. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't feel so nice when you've got a bald head because it really like sticks on the scalp. But I would recommend it if you're bald. I love watching the birds fly to other people. It was funny that so many of them kept going to my dad. Please don't nug on me. Eli, well, wasted. <laughs> Again. You're beautiful. Chicken. Please, no more nugs on my hair. <laughs> yeah, boy. So beautiful. The Australian natives were very cheeky birds, and some even tried to nip your shoes.
My mom was so happy that a black cockatoo finally flew to her. After this cheeky one flew on to me, I was ready to find the sun cunya. I've always wanted a pet sun cunya because they're colorful just like the beautiful sunsets. Now we'll go find some sun cunyas. If you want to own a colorful parrot, sun cunyas are a good choice. Many of these big parrots are more needy than people realize. The beautiful animals deserve to have a long, fulfilling life with lots of love. You should only have a parrot as a pet if you want to give it time and love it deserves. I was amazed at how many different types of birds were in the Lenny bird world. They even had peacocks. The peacocks were huge and their feathers were stunning with incredible bands. I can see why people sometimes would want the feathers to take home, but really we should just leave the feathers on the peacock and enjoy the way that Mother Nature intended. Then we saw one of my parents' favorites, the African Grey. What's on top of my head? It's an African Grey. No way. Yes. No way. Yes, one of our faves. Wait, what is that? I'm gonna go find the macaws. Beautiful. The macaws will also fantastic see. These birds are absolutely majestic, but sadly, macaws are under threat because of deforestation and illegal bird trade. Macaws and many other parrots are the most endangered animals on Earth. One three species are currently at risk of extinction. The rainforest would feel like a void without these magnificent macaws flying from tree to tree. I can't begin to imagine what would happen if these birds disappeared. I hope we do a better job at protecting them and their habitat to ensure that my grandchildren can see them when they're my age. It breaks my heart to think they could disappear forever. He's on your ear! He's trying to get your ear! He's trying to give me a scratch! What are you doing there? Yeah. 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 It's beautiful. There's some cool gardens, let's check them out. Lots of laughs with the birds, we got to explore the Mulaney Gardens. There are tranquil ponds and expansive views of Queensland. It's a perfect place to relax and just unwind with the scenery. You're so high up that you get an amazing view of the Glasshouse Mountains. There are so many different gardens. All you have to do is pick your favourite and sit down and enjoy the serenity and fresh air. The Mulaney Gardens in Birdwell is an absolute treat. I highly recommend you visit this place if you're ever in the area or staying nearby the on the Sunshine Coast. Look, this is the perfect place for a picnic.
After I was dizzy enough, I saw a sign for a giant chair. What? A giant chair? This place, without, without a doubt, is worth double thumbs up. Just look how beautiful it is. The Mulaney Gardens in Bird World are definitely a double thumbs up for this spray. Be sure to grab an ice cream surprise egg or even a plush bird to take home with you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. See you next time, my fellow travelers.